Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a picture in Ken Masuda's coloring book. And we're going to do the little piggy over here. <laughs> that is a really cute little guy. We're going to use the um, color tints from Spectrum Noir. I picked out some pinky colors here. So we have Vintage Rose, Deep Mauve, Chianti, and Adobe. I don't know if I'm going to use the last two, but I'm going to use these two at least. Give them kind of a pink look. Then I have some browns for shading in the darker areas. And pulled out some greens for the green that's coming up on him into the flowers or the leaves up here. And I will leave all the names down below. The ones I use, the ones I don't use, I won't put in there. <laughs> I will try to let you know what I'm using when I'm using it. Now I've got two ways of doing this and one is just to put the color down and then use a water brush. Um, I have a whole bunch of these. This one is Kiritaki. So this must have come in one of my um, water color tins. It says Kiritaki on it. Anyway, I just grabbed one. <laughs> just because they're easy and they're all over my desk. I'll put it that way. Okay, we're going to pull out the two lighter two shades of the um, pink here. And uh, the Vintage Rose is the lighter of the two. And then we'll bring in the other one. So we're just going to go around and put some pink on him. You can put this on a um, board too if you want and pull the color up if you want to do it that way. So we're just kind of going to give him a little pink here and there. His little eye under his ear, but on top of his ear too. I want to give him a pink, or her, excuse me, it's a girl her a pink tone to her. So we're just going to do a light pencil coating here. I haven't used these pencils in this book, so we're going to find out how they work doing it this way. He's such a cute little pig. I think that's about as much as I'm going to put on right now. We're going to see how this color goes on. Whoa, things are falling down all over on the other side. So we'll add water to that. And just blend it out. I was hoping this book would take water really well, so we'll find out. Nice light pink color. Okay, it's going to work. Now, if I remember which pencil I picked up. And we'll just kind of go over the other areas here just to make sure we get enough pink on our little pink pig. Green coming down here with our leaves. Try to get a little more pink there. And I totally forgot this little foot, so we gotta make sure we get some pink there. We'll wanna put a little pink underneath these leaves. 
but we also need to have that kind of a green color. So here we go. Let's pull that color down. some of that out with your finger. You can use a rag. I just use what I have. <laughs> My finger happens to be right there. And there we go. We are a pink pig. We're going to have to let that dry and then we will come right back. Okay, we're back. He's all dry. She just keeps, sorry, 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 sorry. No offense. Okay. <laughs> we're going to add uh, a little darkness to her. So we're going to take in the, um, did I do it with the vintage rose? Yes. The deep mauve. And we're just going to add um, in some of these areas. A little deeper color. Kind of just in the shadow typed areas where we're not going to throw a bunch of green. And we'll see how that goes. If I can remember where I put it all. Mm, start here. Because <laughs> I know it's here. Okay, we're going to take a little of that color, the uh, deep mauve, and put it on this little plastic. This is just a plastic uh, cutting sheet I got at the dollar store that I cut down to a usable size for this kind of stuff. And I rounded off the corner so I wouldn't cut myself. <laughs> and we're going to add it in this way just to darken up some of these areas a little more. some of that into the green area. And just kind of follow up the shadow lines that we have here. And then kind of blend them out. Or a little shadow around his t her tail.
Get into the ear. Okay. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, we'll get the green. Oh, we'll throw in a little brown. How about that? What color are you? This is clay. Throw a little brown in there also to help darken up this area a little bit. So that's our darkest spots. We're not so pink, pink, pink. Although I like pink. <laughs> okay, greens. So you guys went, 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 went. I only did not, I did not use two of these. I don't want to confuse you when I put the names down. And I didn't use one. We're going to start off with... Um, Moss. Sounds good, doesn't it? I don't know how dark this is, so we're going to put it on a little piece of paper here. And check it out. Okay, we're going to put the moss kind of going up in this area, back in this area. Kind of just wiggle it around. Got little leaves and little flowers going on in here. A little bit under here. Just kind of bring this all the way around here. It should mix right in with that pink, which will be cool. And probably a little up here. And we'll put a little on the nose. Just a tiny bit up there on the ear. Maybe a little down here on the feet. And we'll throw a little bit up here in the leafy areas. Just bring some of that color up here. Okay. Darker color. Uh, that was moss. And we're going to put in whatever this one is. Seaweed. Kind of want to just blob it in there in random like circle shapes. They're like little leaves, but
with her little on the tail. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I should probably pull some of that up to the leaves up here, too. do I have here? We're going to put in a little uh, blue. This is a uh, Rockwell blue. Put that over here in my blue and green go well together and that will be my shadow color. So we'll just stick those two down in here. Okay, I think we might need to brighten her up a little bit with another color, uh, like a yellowish color or a brighter green. But I think we'll go with yellow. Get to my little pouch and pull out a yellow. Uh, maize is the closest I'm going to get to yellow. <laughs> Corn color. So we're going to put that up there. And then we're just going to dab that in. Brighten up some spots. Maybe a little in here too. Okay. 
going to let that dry. We'll be back. Okay, she is all dry. And I'm going to add some color up here in the flowers. I'm going to use that blue because I think the blue is a really pretty blue. Add a little bit more water on there. And we're just going to kind of um, make it dark around the stamen parts and then pull up the color. Make it light at the top. Okay. Gonna do that on all of them. we have here. We have mushrooms over here too and I think that's a flower back here. Maybe. If it isn't, it is now, right? Then we have leaves. These little flower buds up here can get a little blue in them too. Then we'll add just a touch in the little mushrooms over here. Then we're gonna kind of just add some dots of the darkness just around the center of those flowers. Okay. She kind of needs something to lay on. I'll do that with Distress Ink, give her some ground. Anyway, uh, we need to uh, do the leaves, so what color have I not used? I used the moss. I have olive and leaf green. So we're just going to go in with some olive and put some color down. So in the mushroom, take a little leaf green, which is a little brighter, and we'll just touch that on some of that. And we'll do these little guys over here. I might add some blue into those. Now is that a leaf or a flower? Looks to be a flower. This one. So uh, we'll throw some blue in that. Okay. There. Uh, we'll throw a little of that. Well, we'll pick it up from the thingy. Green. I'm doing green. And I just put blue down here on the page. All right, let's see if we can't lift that out. Blur it out at least. Yeah, we'll just put red in it. That's good. <laughs> we'll ink up the bottom of the page. <laughs> We're gonna activate this. And just get those colors to blur together in this green. 
leafy place. Then we will throw some of this green. That's not green, that's brown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, leafy green, I don't know. One of these greens down here, which one? Olive. We'll even throw the leafy green next to it. We're gonna mix these. This color that I put down here is Chianti. And we're just gonna mix these colors up. with some of this blue and we're gonna make this shadowy color in here just throw it in here and there put some on the leaves And lightly do a wash over everything that's kind of white in here. Okay, mushrooms. We're going to use a little of that um, Chianti and the green. And just go over the mushroom tops. Pull it down without getting it on her too much. There we go. Okay, we're going to let that dry and then we're going to work some pencils on that. Okay, pulled out a bunch of polychromos. Um, kind of the flesh tones because she is kind of a pinky fleshy pig. So we have um, light flesh, dark flesh, cinnamon. Hmm, you have to be a long name. Venetian red <laughs> and uh, medium flesh, so the flesh tones. I also brought out Kaput Mortem for shadowing along with um, a bister. I have the green gold to add some brightness up here, but I also got earth green to darken, mute, I guess. The chrome oxide green, green opaque, chromium green opaque and um, olive green yellowish boom all my kind of short pencils <laughs> we're going to start off with the uh, light flesh and we're just going to add it very gently in some of these areas that I may have missed or I want a little bit of color on it's a very soft Like I didn't do her lips. And she kind of needs a little color there. And I didn't do her eye. So we want a little of it there. And anywhere that um, we don't want too white. 
I don't mind leaving some white on these pages. It gives a nice highlight. Okay. Okay, then we'll go with the cinnamon here. Let's just define her tummy a little bit better. And again, this is just a light pressure. Just slightly evening everything out and adding just a bit more color to things. Go in with dark flesh. pink again. <laughs> Okay. Medium flesh. Then we'll bring in the bister for some shadows.
so how are you all doing? Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Doing good. Got to add some color up in here into the leaves. So this is the chrome oxide green. To find the stems on things and these sticky things that stick out. I don't know. <laughs> Could pull some of these into the leaves here. So because these leaves have a different color on their bases, when I laid down this color, it'll look different on each one of them, which is cool. Don't want all the leaves looking the same. <laughs> okay, then we'll bring in some of the earth green. here too. And on the mushrooms. Okay, then we have the um, green, yellowish, olive green or yellowish. And we're going to add that in there too. And also down in here. <laughs> Then we have the um, green gold.
course, down in here too. Okay, then we have, we'll do the kaput mortem. Darken around the tail so you can actually see where it is. And use it to accentuate the little shadow lines that we have here. Then we have our Venetian red. Just going to go over some areas lightly with it. Bring some of that in here. Then we need a blue. And I don't know if I have a blue that um, matches this color, so I'm just going to bring in the Rockwell um, blue and just bring in some shadow lines here and use this as my pencil.
we will let that on these. Little on these leaves over here. get a mm, not exactly a black but we're gonna pull in some black this is uh, burnt umber I don't know if that's gonna be dark enough I should have a dark sepia here so we're gonna use that we're gonna try to keep the case on the desk <laughs> so dark sepia underneath the leaves to accent them a shadow. down here boy that leg needs to be a little darker pull some up because he's got some hairs coming up here separate the hoof lines a little bit this should be nice and dark over here too so we're going to darken that up leg here and the tummy should be a little darker back here a bit darker and of course this side definitely darker We need to get a light color in the center of our flowers. Oh, I think we'll take this one. Dark cadmium yellow. Throw a little of that in here too.
Then we'll grab a little orange in there too. What is this one? Cadmium orange. And just give it a little shadow. I think it's cute. Now I have to give him some kind of background here. So I'm going to get out the distress inks and we will see what we can okay, do. Okay, we got out some scattered straw, maybe a little mud in there and a vintage photo and maybe some mossy grass, <laughs> which is your peeled paint. Um, I just want to not have her floating in air, basically. If you'll notice, I'm going to use this um, little pad here. We've got scattered straw on that side. We have um, a green here and then we have a red uh, that's probably rusty hinge or something and we're going to use that as the vintage photo portion. So as I scrape off all the stuff I just stuck on there. So we're going to start off with our lightest color which is our scattered straw. Tilt the book a little bit. Go in this section of the ink pad and we're just going to go under her to give her a ground to be on. And it's okay if this color goes up into our green or anywhere else here because it is really close to the yellow colors that we put in her already. Okay, we're just going to line her here and then bring some of that down. Just lightly, barely touching the paper. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing up here. Get her something she can sit on. Roll around in. She looks like she wants to roll around. <laughs> okay, we'll just pull that down gently. Get it under that foot too. Now, if I do this lightly enough, I can get it down to the edge of the paper and cover up this mess we made down here. So I don't have to look at it. <laughs> okay, so we have a nice of color there. We're going to put a little of that up here too. A little lighter just to get some color up on this side. Try not to get it on the blue flowers but we can get it everywhere else. Just a light touch. There we go. All right, then we're going to add in wherever the lid went. I think some brown on the bottom and maybe some green up at the top. So we're just going to go in where this orange color is. We're just going to take this and in the darker areas, add some of it. And again, it's okay if it gets onto her. It's a nice color addition. learned if you have a little distress ink that comes off in a blob, 
blow it off if it's on a piece of foam or something. Don't try to smush it. You'll have a big problem. A little bit there and a little bit over here. Yeah, okay. I add a little bit more of the uh, scattered straw just to blend that a little bit better here. There we go. We're going to throw a little of the green up in here because I want some more kind of fuzzy green in this area. Same ink pad, just getting some green and we'll throw it up here. Staying away from our blue flowers. So I want them to stay blue. I like how they turned out. Got a little in there, that's okay. And just dab it around. It's a little green. And if you want, if you think it's a little too green in some area, we'll just go in. We'll take this one off and we'll put a clean one on and we'll get a little bit of that um, scattered straw and blend it. And a little bit. And it'll turn it into a nice shadow. Just go in there and blend it out a little. And there we go. Get rid of the Distress inks. And for a little extra shadow, we'll bring in the Bister. And darken up under her a little bit more. I just want to blend that a little better. And we'll bring just a tiny bit of the burnt umber. in there too. And we'll blend that in with the bister after I get it laid down where I want it.
things are sticking there. Okay, then we're going to take my favorite little stamp, the Itty Bitty Background Stamp, and we're going to just go in here lightly with a little bit of the Scattered Straw. Give it a little texture. Uh, i got to make sure there's no other color on here. Yeah, it's just the Scattered Straw. We're just going to lay it down in there. You're barely going to see it, but it's there. <laughs> and you can bring it down here where the um, Distress Ink is light and add in a few of those. And like I said, that's just for texture. If you wanted to see it more, you could uh, put in a different color. I just wanted it a nice little light dots. Put some up here. go. Take a little black here. Just to accent her eye. There we go. <laughs> I know I'm playing. But there we are. I'll take a picture and <laughs> leave it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think you turned out really cute. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And I will get to them as soon as I can. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now. Take care.